Greetings everybody, this is Arizona Og with Huntfish 4x4 with another Into the Kitchen cooking special. Today here we are obviously dealing with the catfish and we're going for a beer battered fish and chips. I didn't do the fillet on this, I mean I'm not going to put it in the video. If you would like to see a video like that just comment down below and I'll be glad to do so. But a lot of those have been done. I'm really just going to show you how we work with this and obtain these fish and chips. This is a nice six pound catfish that is going to fry up real nice and get some good nice fillets. And I'm just going to show you how we go from something like this to something like this. Now these are the fillets I got out of it. Skin off. All I'm going to do here is a nice angle cut along the fillet. Just going to angle cut it. Um, all this is going to really achieve is just giving me nice thin pieces. Like sandwich size kind of pieces you know what I mean. And... Also going to give me nice even pieces to where we have even cook times as well. So after we achieve that, we'll meet you at the fryer. Nice. And here we go. This is going to be our prep. <clears throat> I got my fry guy out here set to about 350. And all we're going to do here is you have two things of flour. That's our nice piece of fish right there. As you notice, I have it on a plate with some paper towels. This is going to get the fish nice and dry. Gets the skin real tacky so it adheres to our batter very well. So this, this bowl here is going to be our seasoned flour. To this one, we are going to be adding um, salt, pepper, and some Old Bay. Real simple. Just three simple sauces, uh, seasonings. Make sure you put a thorough amount. This is going to be like the flavor of it. The batter will give it some flavor, but this is where most of your seasonings are going to come from. Next, this one will be our batter. So we're going to have one that we're going to coat it in first, and then we'll dip it into our batter. It's also just going to help to make sure we have no bald spots. So again, this one's simple. Old Bay, I use some chili powder, some chili flakes just for a little added spice. The chili powder is really just to add like a color, like a darker brown to the the end product it gives it a nice golden brown look to it when it's fried now we add our beer i use dos equis you can use whatever beer you fancy that's just what i had available to me at the time and again just add little by little you don't want to overdo it you don't want this too runny um you don't want it too thick either we're shooting for something like a pancake dough so maybe just a little slight bit thicker than a pancake dough but that's kind of what we want to obtain so just again little by little don't overdo it take your time and yeah don't rush perfection so i think we about achieved it i'll show you right now just the way it falls off again pancake dough maybe just a little well pancake batter just a little bit thicker baby but not too runny not too thick something that's just going to give a nice good coat on it Alrighty, now that we've achieved our batter and we've achieved our seasoned flour, we're going to get our nice dry piece of catfish here. Coat it thoroughly in our seasoned flour. Make sure there's no bald spots. This is just going to also help our batter, our beer batter, like stick to it a lot better. Now like to use a fork I'd refrain from using your finger because you'll tend to leave like a bald spot on it but after you get a good coat make sure you drip off a lot of the excess you don't want it too caked on there and then well you're ready for the fryer so it is going to want to drop to the bottom so just make sure you're giving a good couple shakes on the fryer you know make sure it's not sticking to the bottom once it starts floating to the top it's usually a good telltale sign is done and well, that's what you're left with. A nice golden brown cook with nice white flaky meat on the inside. I'll give you guys a look here. Wow. Exactly what we're shooting for. Exactly what we're going for. Beer battered catfish. Now, this is a... Here, I'm going to show you a sauce I like to use. This is a, like a seafood sauce. It's what I garnish a lot of my stuff with. You got tartar sauce. Hey, use it. I'm not a, too fond of tartar sauce. I'm not too opposed to it either. But... This is usually something I whip up, you know, garnish my seafood tacos, shrimp tacos, and in this case, well, catfish. Beer battered catfish fish and chips. So, got mayonnaise through a little bit of Old Bay. 
a lot of lemon juice. I like it really, really runny. For a small bowl like that, use about half a lemon worth of juice. I didn't do it on camera, but I do like to hit it hard with a couple shots of hot sauce. And again, don't like to be wasteful. Um, I'm going to coat the fries here in some batter as well. All we're going to do is thin out that pancake batter. Well, our beer batter. But instead of thinking pancake batter with that, you want to think crepes. You want to make it real nice and light. As you can see, after I coat them, I actually like set them on the cutting board. Just give them an extra time to like drip off all that excess batter that's on there. You don't want it too thick for this. I actually turned up my fire, my fryer oil at that too, just to give it a nice, fast, crisp. But once we're all done with that, into the basket, and well, once these are done, we'll be meeting you at the plate. Thank you. Alrighty. And now we are left here with our end product. Nice, healthy plate, healthy servings of some nice fish and chips. Nice, golden, crispy meat. Flaky fish on the inside. It's just delicious. They're nice. Homemade sauce to garnish all this stuff. And just, wow. Real good. Like I'm saying, keep it simple. It's not too difficult. Not too intricate. Mm. Very delicious. Yeah, keep it simple. Really good. Even coated our french fries here in the beer batter just to get rid of it. Squirt some lemon all over this. Got our nice, delicious sauce we're going to be using. Savory tartar sauce. If you like tartar sauce, have at it. But <clears throat> again, Arizona Hog with Huntfish 4x4. Beer battered fish and chips. Ton of stuff you can do with catfish. One of my favorites. Um, ain't nothing wrong with nuggets and tacos though, but again, step out of your comfort zone, try something new, delicious stuff. Again, Arizona Og with Hunt Fish 4x4 with another Into the Kitchen cooking special, beer battered catfish, fish and chips. Well, thanks for watching, hope you enjoy, hope it looks good and gives you ideas for what to do with your next catch. So, we'll see you on the next one, thanks for watching.